I was very cheerful and very chirpy throughout year seven to 10, I'd say. I've always been a pretty academic student and I always excelled. I went into year 11 into a different school, lost my friend group, started dropping academically. And so it was like an unfortunate collision of two pretty bad events. It was horrible for me. Worst time of my life. Every day just waking up and knowing like the day would be bad. Sadness, depression, a hell of a lot of anxiety. Throughout my HSC, all five of my exams, I had like panic attacks. One of them, I left the room in tears. I couldn't understand one of the questions, what I was asking. That was enough to stir me into freaking out. Almost like a car accident and my mum was in the front seat. It got real bad to the point where like, I would nag my friends to drive me home. That way that I didn't have to catch the bus by myself. It was literally like looking at the gateway to hell. A big thought was like, it's gonna be like this forever. This is like a new me, the old me of you know, being this happy, friendly, very extroverted person's kind of just like lost. Not necessarily gone or changed, but like quite literally lost. I remember one time, I think I was sobbing in my bedroom. Mum walked past and she heard me. She was like, what's wrong? And I think I just let it all out. I do remember her saying like, are you suicidal or anything? You can tell me like, you know, if you are. And we've just been like, yeah. I think that was the first time I like pushed it out of myself. I was like, we can get through this. We can get you help. Mum found Headspace, gave them a call and that's when I went in to see Rani. It was definitely beneficial. There's no two ways about it. She taught me a lot of tools to deal with things or when I'm feeling certain ways that even till today I'll use. My probably biggest help would be just be like talking to my parents. I love them and respect them a lot. It still amazes me how just talking can get you through it. These things to do with mental health, it's not you, it's never part of you. First thing is to just tell someone, just get it off your chest. Experience the emotions, it's not going to be like this forever, and it never is, it never is.